Dealing with people can be tough. Let's face it, they might cheat or lie, and it sometimes feels like they're just trying to make life harder. But what do you know? Stoicism teaches us that dealing with people of all kinds is part of life's big test. Stoic philosopher King Marcus Aurelius tells us to be good to people and patient with them. He thought that our purpose in life is to interact with others while also understanding and collaborating with them. What then is the strategy for avoiding letting the tough parts of human nature win? This episode is all about how to use stoicism to not only deal with the people in our lives, but also really thrive in them. These time-saving stoic tactics will help you deal with difficult relationships and keep your cool when people are pushing your buttons. It's not about staying away from chaos. It's about learning how to handle it with strength and grace. Don't just deal with people's quirks. Learn how to get the most out of your interactions with them. People who practice stoicism tend to have happier and more fulfilling lives, which I find very interesting. This old philosophy isn't just about dealing with problems. It's about finding happiness and satisfaction in the face of life's unavoidable ups and downs. Staying focused on these teachings is essential if you want to be a part of this elite group. We're not just going on this journey to solve problems. It's also about changing the way you live your life and finding a deeper level of happiness. Are you ready to deal with people issues in a stoic way? One. Don't care what other people think. Imagine that you are on a stage with lots of people watching you, and your heart is racing as you stand in the bright lights. A speech that you have put your heart into, and that you firmly believe in, is about to go live. The message you're sharing is important, but there's a voice in your head that keeps nagging and worrying about how it will be received instead. Are they going to like it? Will they look up to me? This is the stage of our daily lives where we frequently find ourselves performing, wanting the applause and approval of an audience we may never meet. This desire causes us to engage in a silent struggle, a tug of war between being true to ourselves and trying to win approval from others. Marcus Aurelius talked about this conflict many years ago, reminding us that trying to give fame after death or other people's approval is not connected to our reality or presence. Mark Aurelius wrote in his meditations, We love ourselves more than other people, but we care more about what they think than what we think. This sentence shows how ironic it is that we value inner peace and satisfaction more than approval from others. It's more like planting a garden than flipping a switch to go down this new path. You need to nurture your confidence, water your sense of self-worth, and from time to time, remove negativity. You'll face moments that test you every day, but with every test comes a choice. Am I living for others or am I living for me? This will help you stay true to what you believe in and stand for. To be honest, when the sun comes up through your window in the morning, it's both a promise of a new day and a reminder of what needs to be done. You'll meet all kinds of people, including sneaky ones who twist words and those who take pleasure in other people's problems. It's like taking a step into a maze full of mirrors that show different characters. But here's the deal. These experiences aren't meant to bring you down. They're your chance to shine and stand firm in your honesty, like a lighthouse in a stormy sea. Your armor is being true to yourself and to other people. Being honest means more than just avoiding lies. It means not letting them change who you are. You might be wondering why you should be good when there are so many bad people around. Your goodness, honesty, and beacon are simple. It cuts through the fog of lies like a warm compass. Imagine the impact that light would have. People who are lost in the dark might be inspired by light to find their way. It's tough when it feels like honesty is a rare gem, but remember that gems are valued for their rarity. By choosing to be honest, you're not just protecting your peace, you're also setting an example Demonstrating that truth and integrity do have a place in this world. Not because it's easy, but because it's the right thing to do. Let's make honesty one of our plans. It helps us build a life where we don't just get through each day, but thrive with a purpose. Each moment of honesty is a step toward a world where we can look each other in the eye and see not just who we are, but who we can be together. Let's be the effects of that world, one honest word at a time.
Remember not to take things personally. Say you're having a bad day. Maybe you missed an important call, spilled coffee on your favorite shirt, or someone just said something that hurt too much. It's easy to feel targeted or angry when you let these moments get to you. Don't take it personally though. That's a secret from Stoics. As you can see, everyone has their problems, their distractions, and yes, their days off. Most of the time, when someone cuts you off or makes a mistake, it's not about you. It can make a difference to remember this. Consider a time when you lost your cool or made a mistake. Did you mean to hurt someone? Most likely not. More likely, you were just not thinking clearly, overwhelmed, or stressed. That's how people are. We've all been there. When we admit that we are flawed, we open the door to empathy. When others fail, we can choose understanding rather than reacting with frustration or anger. It builds bridges, not just relieves tension. The next time a friend says something mean or makes a mistake, stop, take a deep breath, and ask yourself, have I ever been in their shoes? Most likely, you have. This change in perspective is about enriching your own peace of mind, not just giving others a break. It keeps you grounded, calm, and most importantly, in touch with the people around you. If you choose this stoic approach, you're not ignoring your feelings. You're choosing a path of growth and empathy. And that, my friends, is how you become more valued by yourself rather than just by others. Being patient is important. Being patient is more than just waiting. It's an art and a force that makes us stand out. Take a look. Every day, we're sucked into a tornado of chaos where everyone is in a hurry, taking shortcuts or just trying to get ahead, often without thinking about what will happen. That makes it easy to lose our cool and forget who we are and what we stand for. The magic of patience comes in now, though. We're not just reacting. We're taking charge by choosing patience. We are paying attention, understanding, and acting in a way that is consistent with our core values. When everything else is just crazy and unpredictable, it's like being in the calm center of the storm. Now the question is, why does this matter in a world that values speed? Being a patient makes you a part, like a lighthouse in the dark. It's a clear sign of your strength, integrity, and most importantly, your understanding that good things take time, real progress. It's not about letting people walk all over you. Far from it. To stay on your path, you need to know your worth and have the inner strength to do so even when everything else is moving quickly. Giving situations and people the time they need to show their true colors allows you to make decisions that are right, not just for the present, but also for the future. What is the best way to start? Start with yourself. Take a deep breath and remind yourself that this is your chance to practice patience and be that stoic force in a world that is constantly trying to push your buttons the next time you're in a rush. Someone cuts you off in traffic or a friend takes too long to get to the point. Remember that we build the foundations of a character that is not just admired but truly valued in these small, everyday moments. Your secret weapon is patience. It's your quiet strength that says a lot about who you are and how much of an impact you can make on the world. Let's accept it, master it, and let's show the world how powerful being patient is. 5. Set a good example. Let's say you're walking down the street without thinking about anything when all of a sudden you see someone helping an old person carry their groceries. Their powerful message was sent without saying a word. Choosing action over words is at the heart of stoicism. Being that person who can light a spark in others through simple actions is really important. It's not about yelling your beliefs from the rooftops. It's about living them so clearly that other people can't help but notice and be inspired to do the same. Picture a wave going around. Just by being a living example of the virtues you believe in, your actions can inspire those around you to spread kindness and wisdom. With all the distractions in the world today, setting a good example is more important than ever. It's easy to get lost in the crowd and noise. Imagine, however, the impact of choosing to be a beacon of strength and hope. You're not just improving your own life by practicing stoicism. You're also paving the way for others. 
Every choice you make to stay calm in the face of difficulty or to show kindness when others might not adds value to your life and the lives of those around you. The first step is, the little choices are the first step. Instead of talking, choose to listen. Be thankful for everything, even the little things, and face problems with a calm heart. Keep in mind that being a stoic isn't about being perfect, it's about getting better. Each step you take in the direction of living out your values is a step toward becoming a more valued member of your circle and motivating others to do the same. And by doing that, you'll find a deeper happiness that comes from seeing the good changes you've brought about in the world around you, rather than from receiving praise from others. Sixth, turn off the people who are mean. Let's get right to something that has hit many of us close to home. The noise, the negativity, and yes, the haters. Voices that tell you you're not good enough, you can't do this, or you won't make it, sometimes loud, sometimes a whisper. You know what I mean. But the Stoics taught us to tune them out, and it's still a powerful secret today. Imagine putting on an invisible shield and letting all the negativity reflect off of it. Why? Because what matters most is what you do, what you choice, and what actions you take. It's like you're walking down your path with earbuds in, listening to your favorite tune, focused and unafraid of the chaos. It's kind of like Cicero's joke about living as if he were in Plato's Republic instead of Romulus. He focused on what was right, ignoring the external turmoil rather than letting the corruption and hopelessness of his actions dictate his time. Consider this, the time to ground yourself in what is right is when everything around you seems to be falling apart and hope feels like a distant memory. Recognizing what is within your control, your integrity, your actions, and your reaction to adversity is not about ignoring the problems in the world or acting as though they don't exist. The great Marcus Aurelius said, just that you do the right thing, the rest doesn't matter. This isn't about not caring. It's about being focused on being the best version of yourself, no matter what's going on around you. To use these stoic strategies effectively, we must remember this important step. To tune out the haters, not with pride or lack of knowledge, but with a deep understanding that your value, your worth, is not determined by the chaos around you or the opinions of others. It's determined by your actions, your choices, and your commitment to upholding moral principles, even when it's hard. This is what it means to live like a stoic in the 21st century, to be valued more for the quality of your actions and the actions that speak louder than any words ever could. Focus on what really matters and tune out the people who don't like us as we move forward. Be full of love, that is number seven. Have you ever noticed how some people seem to light up a room just by walking in? It's hard to ignore the energy and vibe they exude. That's what it means to be full of love. Being that person who notices others and spreads positivity just by being themselves is more important than waiting for someone to notice you and give you that nod of approval. Imagine the impact that would result from everyone choosing to be a source of kindness and support. Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius once said that doing good things will make you feel light. It's very simple but very powerful. Spreading love and genuine care for others starts a chain reaction that affects many people. You become the person everyone wants to be with. Not because you want attention, but because you are giving something valuable. Your affection, your time, and your understanding. Let's be honest now. Things don't always go well in life. We face difficulties, we experience setbacks, and from time to time, it feels easier to close down than to communicate. But this is where the magic of stoicism comes in. It teaches us strength, the ability to get back up with even more love and compassion. Every person we meet is a chance to demonstrate kindness, just like Seneca said. So when you're down, and it seems like the whole world is against you, that's the moment to lean in and be even more generous with your love. It's not about ignoring your feelings, rather, it's about using them to motivate not just you, but also those around you through positive actions. Making others feel valued is just one aspect of this strategy. It also involves enriching your own life. 
Building relationships and feeling like you're a part of something bigger than yourself are important. Sending love into the world makes it come back to you, often when you least expect it but need it the most. Choose to be a beacon of love and kindness, following in the footsteps of the Stoics. The more important thing is that you'll feel more valued by others and by yourself. You don't have to wait. You can start that path today. It's a journey worth taking, a path that leads to a more fulfilled, more connected life. When it comes to love, why not share this with someone who could use a gentle reminder to love and hit the like button? Let's love and appreciate each other even more. Eighth, don't compare yourself to other people. Let's say you're looking through your phone and going from one profile to the next. You see pictures of people whose lives look perfect. We need to hit the pause button now. Eighth, don't compare yourself to other people. Let's say you're looking through your phone and going from one profile to the next. You see pictures of people whose lives look perfect. We need to hit the pause button now. That quote by Theodore Roosevelt, comparison is the thief of joy, is very true. You're setting yourself up to fail when you compare your behind the scenes to someone else's highlight reel. You feel like you're in a race, but you can't see the people in front of you. Going that fast is slowed down and you might trip over your own feet. Just remember that the only person you should try to beat is the one you were yesterday. Let's delve a little further using Marcus Aurelius' wisdom as a guide. He asks us to question the foolishness of envy. Why want someone else's life without understanding their difficulties? It's easy to envy the CEO's success and forget the sacrifices they made to get there. Turn the script around and think about this. If you lost everything and changed into someone else, you might just find envy for the life you have now. This change in point of view is a powerful tool. Making the most of what you have is more important than having everything perfect. Seneca brings it home with Epicurus' quote, Enough will never be enough for the person to whom enough is too little. Being content doesn't mean settling for less. It means loving what you already have. This stoic principle begs us to cherish the present in a world that is constantly telling us to want more. So take a moment to look inside and outside of yourself. Do not find value in comparisons. Instead, find value in being thankful and appreciating yourself. Let this be your guide as you journey through life. You shouldn't judge yourself by how you compare to other people. Instead, you should judge yourself by how you grow and nurture your own path. 9. Keep your loved ones close. Have you ever put off calling or sending someone a message thinking, I'll do it tomorrow, only to find that tomorrow never arrives? That's a hard lesson for some of us to learn. Stoicism is an old philosophy that is still relevant today, just like your latest status update on social media. It teaches us a very important lesson, memento mori, or remember you will die. Understanding that everyone we care about is also on borrowed time is more important than just remembering our own mortality. Let's say we lived each day as if it were our last chance to forgive, love, or show appreciation for someone. What would make our relationships so much more important? Take a moment to think about the last time you talked to a person who was close to your heart. Were there any sour words left in the air, or did you part on good terms? The idea of stoicism tells us, don't go to bed angry. Life goes by so quickly. The next second you wish you had one more moment to say what really mattered. The next minute you're planning a weekend catch up. It's not about living in fear. It's about living on purpose, making the most of the present, giving quickly, loving deeply, and never missing a chance to tell someone how much you love them are all part of what it means to cherish your loved ones. Let's not get lost in the chaos of daily life. Instead, let's stop and think about who makes our lives more interesting. Tell them they are valued today, not tomorrow, but on the day of their choosing. Make it count whether it's a simple text, a long overdue call, or a hug. Remember that these small moments of connection are what matter most in the big picture of life. Let's not wait for a harsh reminder of our mortality to start showing our appreciation for those who matter most to us. Memento mori, yes, but let that inspire us to live 
and love more fully with each breath we take. Remember that the strength lies in your perspective and actions as we come to the end of our journey through Stoic wisdom. Why not mark this moment, hit that day button, to acknowledge the growth you're committing to, if the insights from Marcus Aurelius and the realm of Stoicism have given you new tools to deal with people more effectively. If you know someone who is going through the same problems, sharing this might give them the push they need. Let's make what we've learned stronger today. As a test of your commitment to personal development and handling relationships with grace and stoic demeanor, leave a comment that says, I am growing daily. While the affirmation itself is simple, the way it's said is very powerful. Good luck with your growth understanding, and getting things done with less stress and more wisdom. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Stoic Friend That quote by Theodore Roosevelt, Comparison is the thief of joy, is very true. You're setting yourself up to fail when you compare your behind the scenes to someone else's highlight reel. You feel like you're in a race, but you can't see the people in front of you. Going that fast is slowed down and you might trip over your own feet. Just remember that the only person you should try to beat is the one you were yesterday. Let's delve a little further using Marcus Aurelius' wisdom as a guide. He asks us to question the foolishness of envy. Why want someone else's life without understanding their difficulties? It's easy to envy the CEO's success and forget the sacrifices they made to get there. Turn the script around and think about this. If you lost everything and changed into someone else, you might just find envy for the life you have now. This change in point of view is a powerful tool. Making the most of what you have is more important than having everything perfect. Seneca brings it home with Epicurus's quote, Enough will never be enough for the person to whom enough is too little. Being content doesn't mean settling for less. It means loving what you already have. This stoic principle begs us to cherish the present in a world that is constantly telling us to want more. So take a moment to look inside and outside of yourself. Do not find value in comparisons. Instead, find value in being thankful and appreciating yourself. Let this be your guide as you journey through life. You shouldn't judge yourself by how you compare to other people. Instead, you should judge yourself by how you grow and nurture your own path. 9. Keep your loved ones close. Have you ever put off calling or sending someone a message thinking, I'll do it tomorrow, only to find that tomorrow never arrives? That's a hard lesson for some of us to learn. Stoicism is an old philosophy that is still relevant today, just like your latest status update on social media. It teaches us a very important lesson. Memento mori, or remember you will die. Understanding that everyone we care about is also on borrowed time is more important than just remembering our own mortality. Let's say we lived each day as if it were our last chance to forgive, love, or show appreciation for someone. What would make our relationships so much more important? Take a moment to think about the last time you talked to a person who is close to your heart. Were there any sour words left in the air, or did you part on good terms? The idea of stoicism tells us, don't go to bed angry. Life goes by so quickly. The next second you wish you had one more moment to say what really mattered. The next minute you're planning a weekend catch up. It's not about living in fear. It's about living on purpose, making the most of the present, giving quickly, loving deeply, and never missing a chance to tell someone how much you love them are all part of what it means to cherish your loved ones. Let's not get lost in the chaos of daily life. Instead, let's stop and think about who makes our lives more interesting. Tell them they are valued today, not tomorrow, but on the day of their choosing. Make it count, whether it's a simple text, a long overdue call, or a hug. Remember that these small moments of connection are what matter most in the big picture of life. Let's not wait for a harsh reminder of our mortality to start showing our appreciation for those who matter most to us. Memento mori, yes, but let that inspire us to live and love more fully with each breath we take. Remember that the strength lies in your perspective and actions as we come to the end of our journey through stoic wisdom. Why not mark this moment, hit that day button, 
to acknowledge the growth you're committing to. If the insights from Marcus Aurelius and the realm of Stoicism have given you new tools to deal with people more effectively. If you know someone who is going through the same problems, sharing this might give them the push they need. Let's make what we've learned stronger today. As a test of your commitment to personal development and handling relationships with grace and stoic demeanor, leave a comment that says, I am growing daily. While the affirmation itself is simple, the way it's said is very powerful. Good luck with your growth understanding, and getting things done with less stress and more wisdom. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Stoic friend.